Hi again, and this is Roger from Red Fox, bringing you Excel in Bytes, um, the easy way to learn Excel for beginners. And we're going to be looking this time at the way that uh, we can format some of these numbers on Excel. Yeah, so we're going to look at what we can do cosmetically with Excel. Now you recall that in our previous exercises, we looked at addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now there's a lot of mathematical operators that we can do as well, apart from those. But let's leave it at that for the moment. What I want to talk to you today about is what we can do with just formatting some numbers. So we're going to leave the uh, numbers that we had from our last exercise. And it's just so that we can show you what we can do. Now, we're going to highlight some numbers. Now, to highlight, we just click on the start of the highlight. And we hold the left mouse button down. And we just move and select what we want. But let's just get these numbers here. So where it says addition down to 315. Now, there's some clever little things up here on the ribbon. Let's look at the first one there. That's that B. You see that B? We can bold those numbers. If we just click the B, you see they've gone bold. Okay. We can turn the bold back off by clicking it again. And if we want italics to a bit of emphasis. Okay, there's italics. Looks a bit of emphasis. And you put those together, you get the bold italic. And that's a really sharp way of identifying some particularly important numbers. There's lots of other ways of doing things as well. Now, if we want to show uh, this total as being extremely important, we can use this little button up here, which is the Fill button. And it's like a yellow highlighter, but you can click on the little arrow next to it, and it pulls down a whole range of colors that you can choose. You don't have to use yellow. But yellow is great because it stands out, people see it from a distance and the black text still comes up quite clearly through it so let's go for yellow we won't change that um, so what we do is we just click on where we want to highlight and we click the yellow and you'll see that cell has gone yellow now the problem with that is it doesn't have any clear definition around the edges so let's put some borders around it so we've clicked the yellow highlighter to make it yellow now we're going to put some borders around the edge of it the way we do that is that we go up here and you see there's a little drop down here. We've got the uh, the little line underneath the square. That's the borders, okay? And we can choose an outline border, outside borders, so that's all four. And look what it does. We've got a little box around it now, which looks quite neat. If we really want to emphasize it, we can choose a thick box border. That's this one there. And you see it's got a thick box border on it. Now let's punch it up a bit more. Let's put the bold and the italics on there. Now we've said, look at this number. It's really important. So we can type in here, really important, exclamation mark. Okay. And then if we want to bold that, we can just click on the B. And if we want to italicize it, put the italics on it, we just click the I. So that's a really important number. Now, what we might want to do is connect those all together and make those highlighted. So if we click there and across to the next cell, we're clicking on C8 through D8. Let's do the same thing. Let's click on that and let's put that bold border. You'll see it's left at the last border that we used is up there. So we just click that again. Now that's a bold border and it says really important. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It's um, in bold and it's italics and it's the same font and look as the number. So when someone reads this they can say oh that's a really important number. It might be. Let's change that. Let's make that net profit. Now, net profit is a really important number in a business, so we can call that net profit. And let's change the addition up here. Let's get rid of addition. Now, we do that, we can just put the cursor on there with the left mouse button, just there. We click on the left mouse button, and we hit the delete key, and that's gone. Let's get some descriptions in here. Let's get sales of bolts. Well, let's pretend it's a nuts and bolts business, okay? 
and we'll put sales off and you'll see what it's done I put sales I put sales up there and it's automatically put off bolts it gives me the option to just choose the same description if I want let me just do that again I just click hit the escape key and I put sales and as soon as I put the S the only other text option above that is sales of bolts and it just assumes I want to do the same thing but this say I want to, I want to say sales of uh, let's say washers so it's a nuts and bolts thing now this one here we're going to put now if we put sales it doesn't know what it's going to be so we put sales of threaded rod okay so that's like the bolts without the heads on them and it's just a straight piece of uh, piece of round metal with a thread down it um, so that sales are threaded rod if you're just making these things up okay now we've got um, sales of spring washers Now we have a little problem. You see, sales or spring washers doesn't fit. Look at that. So what we can do is we can widen either of those columns. Let's widen the C column a little bit. And all we do is we move the cursor up there. You see it goes to a little line with an arrow either side. That means it's smack in the middle of the two cells. You've got to do it between the letters, the C and the D. Click, left click, and then just drag a little bit to the right. Make it a bit bigger, okay? Now we fitted it all in sales of spring washers, okay? We can actually widen that whole thing and, and do a lot of things, but this is enough at the moment. Okay, we can combine those two cells if we want. We can combine this column and this column for each row. We're not going to do that right now, that's further down the track. Now what's this 98? Let's, let's call it commissions received, okay? Commissions... received and press enter so now we've got some items we've got sales of bolts sales of washers sales of threaded rods sales of spring washers commissions received but of course that isn't net profit is it so let's change it to what it should be let's click on that cell where it says net profit we're going to change that it's sales and it's commissions received so what we're going to call it is total income okay now it says total income we've just typed that in over the top we press enter and now we've got this really important number of 315 is now total income what we're going to do now is let's tidy up this make a little bit smarter for presentation let's put a board around all of these numbers here we've already got uh, we've got a bold border or a, a thick border around total income on the 315. We're going to put a little border around the rest. So over here we pull that border one down. We've got an outside border. Now look what's happened. Okay, we've got a border around the outside. Now if we look at... Um, uh, take this, we put around that thousand sign that we put up there. We're going to put a border around there as well. And make that thousands um, and now I think we might separate the descriptions from the numbers so we're going to just go down here and what we're going to do is we're going to put we want to put a line down the left hand side now you'll see up here we can drop that little menu down that little list of options and we can see left border so we put a left border on it and there we are that's how it looks it's quite neat and tidy now what I did while you weren't watching there is I've put in this little uh, dollar thousands up here which uh, which shows that these are now thousands of dollars so it's 51,000, 6,000, 85,000, 75,000 etc up to 315,000 now we could put the dollar signs on all of those if we wanted to the way we do that is we would highlight all of those numbers whoops too far we just Got left mouse button on the first one, drag down, holding the left mouse button, let go of the left mouse button, and we've highlighted those cells. 
and you can see up here we've got E which has got a color on it we've got three four five six seven eight which have got a color on them which indicates that's what we've highlighted the E3 to E8 so what we're going to do is let's try clicking on this dollar sign up here and see what it does that turns it into dollars and cents now for my liking that's uh, too cluttered and of course it doesn't fit with our dollar thousands up there so we're going to go and we're going to click undo uh, the undo button is up here at the top left there we go so we just click on undo and we undo what we just did now while we're talking about the undo button you'll see that's the little curved arrow that goes to the left up the top there there's a redo button so if you want to say oh gee I didn't mean to undo that you can just click redo and you see it goes back to the way it was so we can do that over and over again we can go undo redo undo and redo now the other thing we can do with undo is we can choose what we're going to undo you see that was a style change that was the last undo and the one before we did before that was borders and borders and borders we can undo all of those we typed total income into C8 so we can undo as far back as, as quite a long way in fact I don't think there's much of a limit on that but uh, that's an awful long way we can go down to 46 actions so far that we can undo the most important thing is usually only undoing one or two things sometimes you do more but the important thing is we want to undo that now so that we've got the numbers the way we want them Another really important thing that you can uh, do with Excel is you can change the alignment of the characters inside each cell. Now, for example, you see that dollar thousands that I typed in when you weren't looking. Um, if we go up here, we see that uh, in the alignment uh, box on the ribbon, we've got that centered. So that's center text. And you see it's right in the middle of the cell. It's not to the right. We can make it go to the right by clicking that one. Or we can make it go to the left by clicking that one. But we don't want it there, we want it in the middle. So you can do that. Now similarly, if you've got if you make your cells bigger, higher from top to bottom, we can just do that by dragging like that. We can move where that appears in uh, vertical mode. So that, there it is in the middle of the cell vertically, and there it is in the top of the cell vertically. And there it is back where we want it in the bottom of the cell vertically. Now we're going to take that cell back to where it should be. And it should be 12.75 points. We'll just take it back. That's close enough. 12.75 points to where it was. And you'll see when you click on that, it tells you the height. It's 12.75 points or 17 pixels. And that's a really important thing to know. You can make things the same height. Um, or the same width as you got up here, it tells you width 8.43, 8.29 just by moving. Okay. So we've looked at some of the ways that you can highlight, you can change the appearance of your Excel numbers. Uh, there's a lot more we can do, and, and let's uh, let's look at another one here. What if we wanted to get rid of all these these cell markings all the way around here? Okay can see we've got all the little borders between the cells there's a neat little way we can do that and the way we do it is we click up on view and on view you see there's a little checkbox in show hide view show hide and there's one there that says grid lines what we do is we uncheck that box and you see all the grid lines are gone and now it's just a clean white sheet to work with and that can be quite handy if you're doing forms and you want people to fill in certain areas. Um, you get rid of all those, those little grid lines and it looks less cluttered. But we want to put those back because we don't want to take them out for the moment. There's a lot more to learn, but that's enough for today. And what we're going to do next time is pick up where we left off. We're going to use this worksheet exactly as it was and we're going to take this further and show you some more things that we can do with it so look thank you very much for watching excel in bytes practice your excel learn it well you'll find out lots of exciting things that you can do with it until next time this is roger from red fox signing off <laughs>